hello friends welcome to lms solution research support in this video we are going to discuss about important important chat gpt prompts so newly apply updated chat gpt prompts which is very useful for our research article preparation so let us go on to today's video and explore what are the uh, different chat gpt prompts available recently next we will discuss and explore how that chat gpt prompt will work out to prepare our research paper so let us go on to today's video first you, you have to open your chat gpt so here i have opened chat gpt so in that aaprm prompt so regarding aaprm prompt we have a main many videos so you can download aaprm extension and you can pin that extension to your browser thereby you will be getting aaprm prompts so next what we have going to do is in this sort so you have to select latest updates so in this latest updates there will be option called smart research so you here you can see unveil the secrets to success by unleashing your inner research wizard dry and crushing it with the night dry tools anyone can become a research expert and make discoveries that will shape their lives whether you are just starting out here so i am going to click smart research so here our smart research is clicked what do you want to research so give you a title what do you want to research grid connected solar pv system with battery integration for electric vehicle charging station so like that i am going to give an input so uh, after that what we will check out what chatgpt will do so what grade of research are you interested in so you can give if you are doing an ug project you can give it is a ug undergraduate level or pg project you can give uh, that is pg level so next you can give your phd that is your research phd research scholar so i am going to give so like a prompt like this here so after that it will generate uh, the outline of the particular title we have given so here you can see so what la grade level of research you are interested in we are given phd research scholar so here you can see topics and sub topics <coughs> components of a grid connected pv system that is photovoltaic system inverter solar charge controllers battery bank grid connected point working principle of grid connected solar pv system so like that you can uh, see examples for using formulas and equations critical thinking questions key takeaways so grid connected pv system so like that steps to follow next uh, reference chart next uh, common mistake and solutions proof reading and accuracy so what would you, what would you like to explore further it is asking explain the sub topics also so here what i have given us it has given a detailed uh, procedure for making a research in the smart research uh, prompt you will be seeing that <coughs> for a title grid connector solar pv system with battery integration and charging station it has generated the topics and subtopics how to carry out and also it will gives us examples using formula and equations next it is given critical thinking questions related with that particular title next also it has given key take take away points and the steps to follow while doing next the reference chart common mistakes and solutions proof reading accuracy like that it is given so after that what would you like to explore further i am going to uh, give that explain the sub topic also so let us see how it will generate sub topic explanations <coughs> here you can see that our subtopic subtopic is started to explain getting explained so here in 1.1 components of a grid connected solar pv system here the subtopic focuses on the different components that make up grid connected solar pv system it includes a description of each uh, component such as pv panels inverter solar charge controllers so like that it will explain the every subtopic one by one 
So it is a fantastic option by using this smart research AAPRM prompt you can complete your research paper writing or any project report very very easily. So you can make use of this AAPRM prompt to get your research analyzed very very better. So this is the important prompt, first important prompt we have seen today. So next what we are going to discuss is that <coughs> I'm giving a so chat. So next important prompt is that code anything now. So many of you, you your ultimate AI powered coding assistants are you ready to revolutionize the way you code looking no further code anything now the cutting edge AI pre prm prompt to design to help for code generation. So let us see how it will works out. So I am using I, I may use MATLAB for my coding purposes. So here for example I am asking explain the particle swam optimization MATLAB code for MPPT. MPPT means maximum power point tracking. So uh, let us see how it will generate MATLAB code for that particular technique. So let us wait and watch that. So I am here to help you with coding is could you please clarify which programming language would you like to use for particle swarm optimization MATLAB code for maximum power track. So programming language I am going to give MATLAB. <coughs> So here you can see that so you can see that it is uh, having initialization main loop for uh, each iteration so it will having that uh, that is step by step procedure so next to MATLAB imp implementation so what uh, the result of this particular AAPRM prompt is that it will provide PSO MATLAB code for maximum power point tracking in English. Here a yeah, high level overview of the steps involved. So here you will be having different uh, that is steps for that uh, uh, that is actually this PSO for as, as far as algorithm concerned the PSO is okay it is not generating code. So let us give some simple codes. Give generate MATLAB code for P and O MPPT algorithm. So whether it will generate or not, let us check. So just a minute. I am I, I didn't use that code now. So uh, after that, I am going to code anything now. So in this, I am going to give generate MATLAB code for P and O MPPT algorithm. So like that I am going to give. Yes, it is work, working out. So here uh, the code for that P and O algorithm is generated. So the, as far as this uh, option is concerned, that is uh, this prompt is concerned. So you can use uh, to generate simple MATLAB codes. So thereby you will you will customize the code and you, you can add some of the important points from the algorithm and you can improvise the code. So you can make use of this option that is called code anything now. So next AAPRM prompt what we are going to discuss today is that. Here you can see SEO optimized plagiarism fee articles. So click on that. So what I am going to do is I am going if I am going to write an introduction part of my research paper. So give some recent trends in renewable recent trends in renewable energy implementation. with statistical data about 150 words 
so i am going i am i'm giving a clear prompt give some recent trends in renewable energy implementation statistical data about 150 words so this can be useful for our uh, that is research article writing introduction part so as it is already said that seo optimized plagiarism free articles let us uh, see how it will works out and how it will generate content for that particular title we are given So this is uh, uh, what we have need. So renewable energy has seen sustainable growth globally according to the International Renewable Energy by end of 2020. Renewable energy accounted approximately 26 percentage of the world's electricity generation capacity. Solar panel witnessed the highest ca capacity addition with increase of 127 gigawatts in the same year. Additionally, wind energy contributed 111 gigawatt of new capacity. These figures indicate the rate, rapid expansion and adoption of renewable energy sources. So this is the important point we have asked for. So you can copy and paste this in your introduction part of your research paper and you can proceed for further literature survey. So like that you can make use of the option in this chat GPT prompts, especially that smart research will be very, very useful for you to generate. That is, you can create your project report or any thesis writing very easily. So hope this video will be very helpful for you. So thank you for watching our videos. Have a nice day. Thank you.